Hello everyone, and welcome to an episode of Todd Talks. And Todd Talks, people listen. Hopefully. So, episode 28, and we are talking about the Amy Rose Ramona Flowers death battle, in which I called it right again. I am back on a win streak, ladies and gentlemen, and I am so happy. Yeah, this one was a really hard one to pick. I mean, I literally, no joke, picked it on the uh, prediction video I did for the death battle because I really just couldn't decide beforehand. So I had to use the video to, you know, dissect what I thought was going to happen and then pick. So that was, that, that was kind of a first for me. So the battle itself was a little surprising. Um, they did do 2D instead of 3D, which I understand what honestly, because it, I think it might have looked actually kind of weird in uh, 3D. And they have done something like this before, where they did a two death battles in a row in 2D, which would lead up to the big 3D fight, which I'll get to in a second, obviously. Um, so, it, you know, look-wise, it actually wasn't too bad. It was uh, very compact, but in a good way. And they actually had a, quite a large battlefield, um, which I appreciate, because sometimes you, they get limited in what they do, and it, it hurts the death battle. We've, we've had that a lot this season, unfortunately. Um, I, the camera angles, though, there were points where it was actually really hard to discern what was going on, and, like, at times, like, there was, like, these off shots that, at least in my mind, didn't show anything, and then we were cut right back to the battle, so that, that was kind of odd. Also, there was no voice acting. I mean, I know that, technically, you don't, um, have access to voice actors, or various actresses in this case, to uh, voice every character, and that's fine. But I find it odd that, at the very least, they couldn't have gotten something for Amy. I mean, they've used voice clips from, you know, uh, their games before. And Amy, which if her, I think her sprite was taken from either one of the GBA Sonic games or, like, Sonic Battle, um, they could have easily just voice clipped her stuff in there and then, you know, maybe spliced in some uh, shots of Ramona just I'm just spitballing that. It just because it felt really weird that they had all these sound effects and they had like the, but like no uh, voice acting at all. It, it felt really really odd. And I mean, even if you think like back to uh, Bowser Ganon, okay, they uh they didn't have voice acting, but they had like the grunts, the laughs, the uh, uh like the emotional voicing even though they didn't say words which is fine and that but that really lent to it because you could like when uh, bowser did a drop kick on ganon you know and uh or like when ganon did a sneak attack he did like his uh super smash rush charge up you know it's these little things that really make these battles better than what they are or as i should, I should say even better than what they are so for there to be no acting at all in any context, it really felt odd. Um, yeah, I, again, I'm happy they won, but it definitely wasn't one of my high-ranking battles. Um, I felt the explanation at the end was kind of weird. I mean, it, they had, like, a long battle and then, like, a really long explanation afterwards. And it, it, I don't know, something just felt odd about it. It's kind of hard to explain. I had a big debate with my friend Chris about this because he, he, he had no pick going in. He, he was... He didn't care either way. You know, he had no connection to these characters. But then after the battle, he's like, I think Ramona should have won. And he's like deciphering how the explanations were explained. And he uh, he, he didn't connect with it. I tried to do my best to show him what they meant. But, you know, some of the stuff I was like, some of the numbers they were throwing around kind of felt odd to me as well. So we were talking about speed and like the force of Amy's hammer and everything. But I mean, for the record, I still am confident that Amy should have won that battle, especially given what I found out during the battle, but, you know, it's, de it's definitely not one of their better battles, I mean, I think, we're, sadly, some of the 2D battles have been, like, the really weakest links in this, in this, uh, season, I mean, with some exceptions, obviously, like, uh, Flash, Quicksilver, Ganon, Bowser was a good one, um, but then, like, the last string, you know, Shadow, Mewtwo, Kami, uh, Sonya, um, uh, and now this one was kind of bad. Terry versus Ken was good. I like Terry versus Ken. That one was fun. Um, yeah. So, 
hopefully, I mean, we've only got a few. If they go the uh, way they went the last season, season, and they end it in December, that means we only got a few ones left because they did a three week interval. So we're running out of time. So it's very possible that, that there's only three battles left. And if so, I hope that whatever is the, uh, I don't know, the penultimate. 2D battle get, really gets a chance to shine, so that's not just another 2D battle. So, looking forward, we have the long-awaited rival of the Hulk, and I checked the uh, official uh, Screw Attack Instagram page this morning. Uh, I was busy the last few days, and it was confirmed that Hulk will face Doomsday. Now, for those who don't remember DC Comics lore, Doomsday, and I'm only gonna go loose here. Okay, just 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 so you know, Doomsday is the genetically created monster that was designed to kill Superman, and he did, technically. Yeah, you know, sorry, healing coma for uh, you go for Superman fans. Uh, so yeah, I actually did predict this. Uh, I, I was on that video. I think, but I was telling everyone I posted on the YouTube page after they reviewed Hulk. Uh, that when uh, Hulk was revealed, it had to be Doomsday because outside of a super strong anime character they don't know about, D Doomsday was the logical choice for Hulk. And you know this is going to be a 3D battle. You know this is going to be, you know, world shaking, world shattering. You know, it's going to be good. So stay tuned for my full preview for that in a few weeks after the preview videos from uh, Screw Attack have come out. And I will let you know after I do my research and everything I can to see who will win this monstrous death battle. So, with that, I will end this episode of Todd Talk. I hope you enjoyed the death battle between Amy and Ramona. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know which, if you predicted it right. And let me know what you think about Hulk versus Doomsday. So, I thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I know you were listening, and I will see you around.